Heat fans, let's litter the comments section. I want to see everyone show some support to the Miami Heat right now and spam those 305s in the comments section. And with that said, let's get the show started. What's up, Heat fans? This is the Heat Report by Chat Sports. I am Nick Roloff, and we have a very fun show on tap for you guys today with a little sad news as well. But the main topic I want to talk about is Damian Lillard ruining the Miami Heat. We're going to be talking about Christian Wood signing with the Los Angeles Lakers last night. And like I said, is Dame ruining the Miami Heat? Because it is a serious question we have to ask ourselves. Is doing this waiting game for Dame ruining this Heat roster for the upcoming season. But first, we're going to start with a Damian Lillard update, and it starts with what Bobby Marks had to say because he came out and said a couple days ago that the Heat will have the best trade offer for Damian Lillard. Specifically, he said this, if you're Portland and you have to come to a realization that Hero, the two young players and draft picks, is going to be better than what you'll get from anyone else. And that's kind of going back to what our show yesterday was about. So if you want more of that, make sure you are subscribed. But there is no other d team on Damian Lillard, and there will not be any other team on Lillard. Because when you think about teams that have really good assets, like OKC, like Brooklyn, like Philadelphia, they're not in on Lillard. Because the 76ers aren't going to trade Tyrese Maxey for Dame. It doesn't make sense for the Thunder to trade for him because you have two good pieces in the backcourt and SGA, who I would argue is better than Damian Lillard right now. And then you've got G Giddy as well. And then Brooklyn, does a trade make sense to go all in for Dame? Because I don't think Dame and Mikael Bridges is getting the job done in the Eastern Conference. So the Heat's offer is the best you're going to get. And let's not act like the Miami Heat's trade assets aren't good enough. Tyler Hero at age 23. One sixth man of the year already. Averaged 20 points per game in back-to-back -back seasons. Caleb Martin has one of the best contracts in the association. Two years, $14 million left for someone who is 27 years old and is being a big-time playmaker and played well in the finals. Nikola Jovic, we did his show yesterday about how much he is improving and how much talent he has, and I talked about him being untouchable. I doubt he's untouchable, but a very good prospect. And then you got the 18th pick in this past NBA draft, Jaime Jaquez Jr., who has a lot of talent and can contribute to win-now building. So my question is, what is Joe Cronin's plan? Does he know what he wants to do? I don't think he does. When you think about what the Heat can offer right now, that is the best he's going to get. And if you're not taking the Heat's offer, what are you going to do? You're going to bring a disgruntled 33-year-old Damian Lillard into a point guard room that includes Scoot Henderson, Anthony Simons, and Shaden Sharp. You're going to stunt those three players' growth. What are their, What is their plan? Are they going to try to compete with Dame? Are they trying to rebuild? Are you paying $55 million to a 33-year-old point guard, excuse me, to not win. It makes no sense, and Joe Cronin has no clue what he's doing. He's got to get a grip and just start negotiating with Miami already. But I want to ask you guys this, and this is today's pinned comment. So if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, let it play, scroll down, and answer today's question. But if that question is, grade the Heat's trade assets. Scale it 1 to 10. It's very fascinating. I think the assets are actually way better than what NBA media circles and obviously the Portland Trailblazers think the Heat assets are. But now I want to talk about is Damian Lillard ruining this Heat roster by causing them to miss out on some key free agents this offseason because they're only focused on Dame. And last night, this is the report from Adrian Wojnarowski. Shout out St. Bonaventure. He said free agent Christian Wood has agreed to a two-year deal, which I found fascinating. That was multi-years with the Los Angeles Lakers. Deal includes a player option. So if he plays well, he could go test the market again next year. If not, he can opt in. But this is kind of devastating for the Miami Heat because I absolutely convinced myself that Wood would be a great addition to this Heat roster because when you think of what he is able to do on the offensive end, I know there are questions about his team fit and his defensive fit, but there is no denying that this guy is a pure bucket getter at that big man position at all three levels of the game. He can finish, he can hit the mid-range, he can shoot the three. You're not going to find many 6'11" forwards and centers that can consistently shoot 37% from three or better. I think Christian Wood would have been an excellent fit 
offensively next to Bam and Jimmy in a Wood and Bam 4-5 offensive duo would have been fantastic. And that's what I said. Like, I sold myself on Christian Wood to Miami. I know people are going to revisit the defensive problems and the questions about his winning ability. But when you think of what he could do offensively with Bam, Jimmy, and in an Eric Spolster-led offense, I think it would have moved mountains, and I think it would have been a good move to bring him in. But obviously, he signs with the Lakers, as Christian Wood could not take waiting on the Damian Lillard situation to play out anymore. He just wanted to get paid, and he goes to Los Angeles to play with LeBron. I want you guys to subscribe here to the Heat Report, though, because we're bringing you everything related to your Miami Heat. News, rumors, we're talking about free agents signing with other teams and how it impacts the Miami Heat. We have it all. Join the rocket ship. We just passed 5,000 subscribers. And guess what? The bosses have told me that if we continue to go on that upward trajectory and get more subscribers, we might be able to do watch parties for this upcoming season. So make sure you hit that sub button. I also want to hook you guys up with the best sports book in the game, BetUS. Use our link, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125, and you're going to get a 125 deposit bonus. So if you put $100 in, you're going to get $125 on top of that, giving you $225 to play with right off the bat. I use BetUS, and I already hammered the win total for the Miami Heat this upcoming season. They got it set at 48 and a half. I'm taking the over because with Dame, without Dame, Heat are getting to 50 wins this year, and I'm going to be a top four seed in the Eastern Conference. There's no doubt about that. One more time, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code, promo code chat125, get hooked up with BetUS. But I want to talk about now how the Heat are missing out on Damian Lillard, or they're missing out on free agents, I should say, because they are waiting for Damian Lillard. And there's already been five names that have been linked to the Heat that they ended up not getting. Christian Wood, obviously, signs with the Los Angeles Lakers. Derek Jones Jr. was thinking about a return to the 305. He goes to Dallas. Dario Saric was someone on the Heat's free agent list, and he was interested in them. He was interested in Saric. He goes to Golden State. Dennis Smith Jr. would have been a great backup point guard option for Dame or Kyle Lowry. He ends up going to Brooklyn. And then the most recent guy, or a second most recent guy that the Heat missed out on, Svima Kailu, the sharpshooter, was in between the Heat and Boston Celtics. He ends up signing with Boston because he evidently could not wait for the Damian Lillard saga to unfold. The Heat have continued to miss out on free agents, and it's been detrimental to their team roster building. And that's why I want to ask you guys this. Are you upset about the Heat missing out on Christian Wood and other free agents? Because I know I am. Type U if you're upset. Type F if you're fine. But it's starting to get a little frustrating seeing all these good free agents sign elsewhere because the Heat are in limbo waiting for Damian Lillard. And when you look at what free agents are available, it's not great. The best free agent available to this point is Kelly Oubre Jr. And yes, his stats may look enticing, but I don't know if I'm sold on Oubre to the 305. Yes, he can score, but I think he is a volume scorer. And you can see it with the stats on screen that his efficiency is just not there. And if he's coming off the heat bench playing with a Jimmy Butler, a Bam, Let's just be optimistic and say Damian Lillard's there. He's not going to get enough shot attempts to put up those numbers for the Miami Heat. And so can he rise his efficiency levels in a limited role? I'm not sure. But the same questions with Christian Wood on the defense and the winning ability follow Oubre. I know he's the best free agent available, but I don't know if I want him on the Miami Heat. Could we see a reunion with Justice Winslow? He could play the backup one if absolutely necessary. He did it in Miami. He did a little bit for Portland. The question for him is if he can stay healthy. But we've already seen one reunion from that famous Miami Heat draft class with Josh Richardson. Can Rook 1 come back home in Justice Winslow? Maybe. We'll see. I wouldn't hate it. Will Barton is another guy that he could go at. He's a sharpshooter, a guard that can fill up the stat sheet once in a while but isn't going to be consistent. One of the biggest Miami Heat needs is scoring off the bench, even with Dame, without Dame, Will Barton could be that guy. Could we see another reunion in Kendrick Nunn? The Heat do need a backup point guard. Is Currently, the backup point guard is Josh Richardson, and I don't know how that's going to work out. Personally, could Kendrick Nunn come back to the Heat? He's one of the best free agents, if not the best point guard free agent out there, and that is saying quite a bit. The last free agent that I think is the best is TJ Warren. 
I know him and Jimmy Butler have his beef, but I would love adding Warren to this Miami Heat team because he can shoot the rock. And he hasn't played a lot of games over the past couple seasons. He did miss the entire 2021-22 season with foot injuries. But last year, he struggled in 42 games played from the field. Shot 33% from three. But that's not like him. And the last time he played a full season, although it was four years ago, he averaged 19.8 points per game for the Pacers and shot 40% from three. I like T.J. Warren. I think he could be a good bench option for the Heat if you're just looking at scoring and shooting off the bench. But the main takeaway I have from those top five free agents available is that it is slim pickings out there, man. There really isn't that many good free agents to choose from. And that's kind of why I think it is possible that the Heat have been ruined and struggled to get a good roster construction because they're just sitting in limbo on Damian Lillard. So that's why the final question of today's show is this. Has Damian Lillard ruined the Miami Heat? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. Very intriguing question. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section. I think he sneaky has ruined the Miami Heat, but if he gets traded to the Miami Heat before the season started, all is forgiven. Obviously, missing out on all those free agents, it stinks. It's not good, and the Heat still have a lot of roster holes to fill out. But like I said, if they are able to bring Dame to the 305, it will all go to nothing because Dame, Jimmy, and Bam will move mountains and get the Heat in NBA championship. That's going to do it for today's show. As always, thanks for tuning in through the end of it. And if you want more Heat analysis, Heat news, Heat rumors, even get a nice little laugh on Heat Twitter, follow me at Nick underscore Roloff. And guess what? If you follow me from this show and DM me 305, I'll give you a follow back.